So number of solution is PT plus one and number of solution in F2 is should be always less than N. So the number of solution in PT plus one is three and F2 have four solutions. So the total solution have seven and it is greater than because uh, it is greater than six. So the condition is not true. If the condition is not true, then we cannot select or we cannot append all the solution from F2 to our PT plus one. Then we have to apply the crowding uh, selection or crowding the distance operator on this set F2 and in order to apply the crowding uh, distance operator on front F2 uh, there are three st uh, service steps in first step we have to calculate the length of the F2 means how many solutions are there in the set F2 and we assign uh, the initial crowding distance for, for each of the sol solutions in this front to zero then we will uh, initialize some of the variables like in objective function f1 what is the maximum value and minimum value in all of the solutions and what is the maximum and minimum for objective function f2 uh, for example we take for f1 we take 1 as a maximum value 0 0.1 as a minimum value and for f2 uh, for f2 we take maximum value as 60 and minimum value as 0 okay now after that uh, the second step is uh, we write here the second service step would be uh, to apply the uh, shorting based on the objective functions so uh, suppose we have uh, because we in this front we have only four solution one three b and d and uh, the fitness values of these solutions are given so i just write the fitness values of these solutions for one uh, the fitness values uh, is 0 0.31 and 6.10 for two uh, the fitness values are uh, sorry for three the fitness values are 0 0.22 and uh, 7.09 for b the fitness values are 0 0.79 and 3.97 and for d the fitness values are 0 0.27 and uh, 6.93 so we have uh, we have to short based on the fitness value so suppose this fitness value for f1 and this is for f2 now the set i1 means uh, the set of indices if i sort these solutions according to f1 fitness values in descending order or in the worst order of f1 fitness value because both of the solutions are have, are minimization problem so the maximum value is a worst value so the maximum value in these solutions in case of f1 is of solution b so the solution b comes first so the solution at third level comes first uh, so third solution comes first then uh, then after that the first solution comes after that uh, so i just write the solution name here so in first the solution b comes then solution one comes then uh, d and after that solution three similarly i showed according to f2 the maximum value is of solution three so it comes first then uh, second maximum is d third is one and fourth is p so these are the two indices set based on the fitness values of f1 and f2 okay now uh, next step is to uh, calculate the crowding distance of uh, uh, based on these indices set so this indices set is very important in order to calculate the crowding distance so uh, initially uh, we in third step we uh, calculate according to i1 set means if we sort the solutions according to fitness one uh, the solutions are b one d and three so this b and three are the uh, so this uh, sorry so b one d and three uh, in in we we represent this solution into reverse order of the fitness value so the boundary solutions are 3 and b so d3 and db 
we initialize the maximum crowding distance initially we the maximum crowding distance is assumed to be infinitive and for the rest of the solution so for uh, d1 the crowding distance is d1 plus the uh, fitness of neighboring solution so the for first solution the next solution is d so fitness of uh, d uh, in first objective okay uh, or uh, the nomination should be like this fitness of d in first objective minus fitness of uh, uh, b in first objective uh, divided by fitness of this max minus fitness of uh, this min okay now so fitness of this uh, d would be Uh, d solution the fitness value of d solution in f1 so it is 0 0.27 minus fitness value of b solution in f1 it is 0 0.79 divide by uh, 1 minus 0 0.1 and uh, plus 0 initially it is 0 d1 is 0 so it is minus uh, 0 0.10 okay after calculation similarly we can calculate the value of d uh, uh, so it is sorry it is like uh, minus 0 0.58 okay then we calculate the value of d 1 uh, sorry value of d d and it is d d original value which is 0 in minus uh, plus f1 uh, the value of uh, 3 minus f1 the value of 1 and f1 max minus f1 min so which is equal to 0 plus value of third solution in first objective is 0 0.22 minus first solution in uh, uh, this objective is 0 0.33 and divide by 1 minus 0 0.1 so this would result in minus 0 0.10 now so this is uh, the case when uh, we consider the i set from first objective now we will look for when we consider the second objective So in second objective the solutions I have this order 3 d 1 and b and the boundary solutions are 3 and b so we define the crowding distance of boundary solutions as infinitive d 3 and d b would be infinitive and uh, after that we have to calculate the value of d 1 which is equal to d 1 plus in second objective what is a uh, value of uh, b minus in second objective what is the value of d divide by maximum value of f2 and minus max minimum value of f2 and which is equal to now d1 is already calculated in previous objective that is minus 0 0.58 plus uh, value of f2 in uh, uh, value of b in f2 objective is uh, 3.97 uh, so it is 3.97 minus uh, value of d in this objective 6.93 so it is 6.93 divided by 60 minus 0 so which is equal to 0 0.58 uh, and plus all this after the calculation i just write directly write the uh, answer so it is 0. minus 0 0.63 and similarly we calculate the value of dd which is equal to dd plus f2 uh, the neighboring is 1 minus f2 the neighboring is 3 and the previous neighbor is 3 and divide by 60 minus 0 which is equal to so after fetching the value and after calculation the value would be 0 0.12 so the final value for d1 is equal to minus 0 0.63 uh, and uh, uh, d3 would be infinitive db is also infinitive and uh, dd is 0 0.12 it is minus 0 0.12 so these are the 
uh, values of uh, each of the solution uh, each of the solution in the front two now based on these value we have to pick up the solutions so step three would be sort these uh, solution according to their descending order of crowding distance value so the first solution would be solution three solution b we can pick any b or three or three or b it may you can pick any one solution and because this is the largest value uh, so pick first solution and then pick teeth solution so this is the order now in my solution space for pt plus one only three spaces are left or only three solutions space is left so i consider only these top three solutions to include it into my pt plus one set so the final pt plus one set in step four which is the last step of the algorithm would be uh, 5a e which is residing in first front then 3b1 which are the least crowded solutions or which are the uh, more diverse solution in our population now the next step is uh, to find the uh, qt plus one set from this pt plus one set by applying some tournament selection based on the crowding uh, distance operator so for tournament selection we make a pair of uh, uh, solutions uh, and uh, this is a sample pair you can make any pair of solutions in these in these pairs we just uh, have uh, every solution is uh, just uh, counted twice so uh, a tournament selection operator will work on the basis of two concepts one is rank and other is crowding distance so if uh, the solutions are in the same front means the ramp rank is same so within the solution we will look for the crowding distance if the solutions are in different fronts then it means we are looking uh, towards the crowding distance between them so uh, for example between 5 and e because both are lying in the same front we are going to look for the crowding distance and uh, the processor for calculating the crowding distance of 5 and e is similar which is which is explained uh, in, uh, in just now so uh, we make uh, a table of fitness values and sort according to fitness values of f1 and f2 and then we will find out the fitness values of boundary solutions as infinitive and the midway solutions would be uh, uh, calculated according to the formula which is uh, provided like this okay so in this scenario the in this first front the fitness value of 5 and a which are the border points are uh, border solutions are uh, having fitness values and infinite infinitive and uh, the fitness values for solution d e is 0 0.54 so as we can see that the fitness values of, of of 5 is greater so we select 5 so 5 will wins the race in this tournament between a and 3 because value a is in first front and 3 is in second front so always the first front is have priority over second so we select a between these two, one and b uh, we, these are between the same front and the fit uh, the crowding distance of solution one is uh, 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 solution one is minus minus 0 0.63 and crowding distance of solution b is infinity so b will win the race between a and one uh, a and one are between different fronts so a is in first front so a will win the race between e and b uh, both are in different fronts and e is in superior front so we will e will win the race 3 and 5 uh, are also in different fronts so 5 will win the race so this is your qt plus 1 set after tournament selection operator now based on this pt1 plus 1 qt plus 1 uh, uh, we will improve the sol uh, solution based on, uh, by applying the mutation and crossover operator which is defined in the genetic algorithm Okay. so this is overall uh, NSG algorithm uh, to find out the elitist solutions in the population which is uh, PT plus 1 and QT plus 1 and uh, the processor of crowding distance and crowding operate, uh, tournament selection operator is also explained in this example if you uh, have any problem regarding this example or regarding any questions uh, related to multi-objective optimization you can ask in the comment section thank you very much